Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And apparently a lot of movies are getting leaked. They're getting spoiled. Potential plots are being dropped. It kind of feels like the only news going on right now. There's not much else going on outside of speculation and theory and all sorts of other crazy stuff. Because today we're going to be talking about Venom 2 and potential plot leaks that have come out from Venom 2. This is being posted uh, from uh, hnentertainment.com where they're showing exclusive Venom 2 plot details concerning Carnage and Shriek. So just what to expect out of Carnage and Shriek in the movie. Again, take this with an absolute grain of salt. Take this uh, with as much uh, truthfulness as you can muster right now if you want. If not, that's fine too, but they published it. So uh, let's talk about it. So it says here that HN Entertainment has learned some interesting new details about the upcoming Venom sequel currently filming at Warner Brothers Studio in Watford, England. The following could be considered spoilers, given uh, this does give a bit of the film away. So stop reading if you don't want any of the film spoilers. This is this is your warning, guys. This is your warning. Now, it goes on to talk about Cletus Cassidy, Carnage, the one guy everyone wants. Everyone wants Carnage. And I, I want to see Woody Harrelson play the role. Uh, it's set to be executed by the state of California for multiple murders committed and escapes the Ravencroft Institute for the Criminally Insane alongside Francis Louise Barrison, a.k.a. Shriek. Barrison, Shriek confirmed for the film, and that is true, Shriek is confirmed for the film, is expected to be a fellow inmate at Ravencroft. Whether or not Cletus is already uh, already has the Carnage symbiote at this point of the film remains to be seen, but it sounds like he hasn't transformed into the film's big bad just yet. And obviously, obviously not going to be just yet. So so looking here at the uh, the Marvel Wikipedia this is what the Ravencroft Institute is. So the Ravencroft Institute for the Criminally Insane, a Ravencroft Institute, was a large sanatorium located in Westchester County, New York. The place later grew to be one of the maximum security facilities in the country, specializing in the treatment of superhuman cr uh, criminals. So this takes place in California. It takes place in Sacramento, or <laughs> San Francisco. So are they going to be moving the Ravencroft Institute from New York over to uh, over, over, back over to California was, was, um, uh, our, you know, um, Alcatraz, was that actually going to be repurposed as Ravencroft considering the fact that it's an, you know, it's an Island prison that could, that could be what it was. I don't remember if they mentioned that specifically in the movie, but it feels like that could be what it is. And of course, if it's, if it's Shriek and it's, uh, and it's, uh, you know, carnage here, uh, that should be, uh, pretty uh, pretty cool to see them together, and because I think they're going to work well together, seeing the villains. Anyway, we we learn some more here. So it says Cletus's violent past as a child will also be explored in the film, as Tom Hardy posts a photo of the remains of the orphanage, the Saint Estes Home for Boys, that Cletus burned down as a child. We've learned that the reason for why he's at the orphanage is that some of the investigative reporting on those twelve deaths from the fire will be blamed on Cletus, adding to an already hefty body count. This plot point likely has to do with why Hardy ultimately decided to de delete a set photo from his Instagram. I don't know anything about that personally. Uh, there's no other information in the article linking to any other posting or images or whatever, so we don't know. Now, it says here, it's possible that after interviewing Cletus Cassidy, Eddie was given information to investigate the fire. After exposing the new victims, Brock's career as a journalist gets a massive boost and could potentially place a target on his back from the newly escaped Cassidy. Uh, which is true, which is entirely possible to have that this end up being uh, what Cassidy wants. And maybe part of the symbiote that uh, part of Venom is what turns him into carnage. We, you know, we don't know. We have no idea how it's going to happen just yet, but clearly they are making it happen. Now, at the end of the day, what everybody wants is this. Everybody wants Spider-Man and Venom versus carnage. And I think, and I really do think that this is what they're, what they're guiding towards. I know Sony worked a deal with Marvel in order to make sure that Tom Holland Spider-Man, whether it's Peter Parker or Spider-Man, can team up with Venom to take on Carnage. That movie would easily be a billion dollar, billion and a half dollar, potentially two billion dollar movie. Just saying, I'm just going to put it out there um, because people, if it's done well, would really want to see where this goes. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, Shriek and Carnage here in the next movie and how it ties into Venom and potentially Spider-Man. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this uh, is an interesting bit of plot concerning uh, Cletus Cassidy and, and you know, with Shriek and what's going on with that, their introduction 
into the film. And it does make sense to kind of have them break out of, a, of an Arkham Asylum type environment and then to be on the run together while Eddie Brock has to use his investigative journalist abilities in order to track them down so he and Venom can, can stop them. Uh, and obviously carnage is going to come into play. And then obviously there's going to be probably mentions of, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like, if Morbius pops up. Cause I kind of feel like when you have him versus two, you, you kind of want to have another person, like a sidekick character show up or some kind of help show up, you know, uh, just to make sure that he's not overwhelmed, but we'll have, cause Shriek could, you know, use her voice to basically, you know, take away the symbiote from Eddie. So that's going to be a big problem. So he can't probably face her directly. Although he'll get creative because, you know, it's a movie and he's obviously going to win. But uh, how do you guys feel about this? Do you think that this is going to be interesting? you think it's real? think it's fake? Uh, do, are you excited for Venom 2? Do you think it's going to cross over the billion dollar mark? I am curious to know your thoughts and know your opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Thank you for watching and peace out. Hey, thank you very much for watching the video. If you want to keep the conversation going, and if you made it this far, you clearly do, come on in and join the Discord. Link is in the video description. Can't wait to see you there. Have yourself a great day, and peace out.